Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 2 and 31. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. When this earth started, when the creation process began, the scriptures tell me that the earth was nothingness. It was empty, it was void, it was chaotic. Nothing was in place, nothing was in order. All things were chaotic and in darkness. But the Spirit of God was hovering, hovering over the deep. And guess what? God is not the author of confusion. God does not enjoy confusion. Confusion is only used by God as a weapon against his enemies. And so God started working. He started speaking things into being. He started pulling things into order. He started preparing each day what was necessary for the creation to happen on the following day. And at the end of the period, chaos became cosmos. Chaos became an ordered creation. And the Lord looked at it and said, it was very good. There may be some errors in your life right now that are absolutely chaotic. There may be some errors of your life that you cannot make sense of. You're not sure if you're going or coming. You're not sure what's happening. You're not even sure if it's alive or dead. Light and darkness seems all jumbled together. Everything is out of order. But do not despair. You serve a God who knows how to transform chaos to cosmos. You serve a God who, if you allow him to speak into your situation, to work upon your situation. If you allow the Spirit of God that's hovering over your situation to take control and act, then that which is now chaos can become well-ordered, can become a thing of beauty, can become functional and can receive that epitaph from the Lord very good. So put it in God's hands. Trust God and he will turn your chaos into cosmos. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.